Welcome to episode 5 of South Holston River Fly Shop Fly Tying Videos. I'm your host, Josh McFadden. Today we're going to be tying a CDC Biot Body Comparadon to represent a blooming olive. We're going to be using a TMC 100. Often we'll fish this fly all the way down to a size 24, but for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to tie it in an 18. We're going to be using for the tails four mayfly tails, micro fibbits. The thread will be olive uni thread and an 8 aught. The abdomen is going to be an olive biot. And for the wing, we're going to be using Trout Hunter Natural Dark Dun CDC. Let's get to time. Alright, guys, this is size 18 TMC 100. And we're going to start with some 8 aught olive thread. This fly, by the way, is a do-over. Um, I'd put I'd put the bluing olive out before, and looking back at the video in HD and and, uh, and stuff, I just wasn't real happy with the way that it looks. So, kind of come back and do it over, you know. Um, you really want to challenge yourself tying. Put a put a video camera between you and your vice. <laughs> it it has it's led me to some interesting places. Um, so, take my microfibits, got four of them, line them up about the shank length. You can have them a little bit longer. Wrap down over top of those. Okay. Tie down over top of them, heading to the front of the hook. That's good right there. Hold the butts up, trim them. Looking good. And run back here to the back. Um... The one thing I didn't like about the, and we're gonna go ahead and split the tail here. Um, the one thing I didn't like too about the the bluing I had done previously is that the wing didn't really turn out that great, and so we're kind of tweaking that now. You can see we've split the tails here. Okay, and we've got a uh, a biot that we're gonna tie in now, an olive biot. Okay, gonna tie that in here. We're going to run it back. To right here, where the abdomen begins. And uh, another reason I'm doing it this way is to uh, so that we can glue the body here without really worrying about the wing. So that's one option is to not worry about your CDC wing just yet. Okay. Get a little bit of glue going right there, a little Sally Hansen's or super glue, your choice. Okay, now we're getting ready to to wrap the biot forward. Okay, we've got the clear side at the rear. If we've done this properly, okay, what we get is um, a smooth section, a smooth abdomen um, when we've tied it in properly without the raised rib so um, you want to just constantly keep working forward and as you overlap these segments you get the two-tone effect you can see that really see that right there you get this nice two-toned appeal um, to your abdomen and um, that's worth taking the time to do so um, as opposed to just tying in the biot and letting it rip but um, so that's that's pretty good pretty good start there to the blue wing compared on um, trim off this excess biot material right there and we'll tidy up little, just a little bit okay now we're in a good place to uh, to tie in our wing so I've got uh, three CDC feathers right here and uh, right three CDC feathers this is a natural brown go ahead and line those up sometimes they don't agree with you 
Go ahead and get those lined up the best that you can. Okay. Now stroke some of this other material back so that we can so we can V out our feather. Okay. That's good. Right there. Clip out the little V. We'll be ready to, to tie in here. So we got three feathers. We're gonna tie in for the wing. You want to make sure that you do press down here is a pretty critical step to getting the wing to the right shape. Okay, and trim up here. Now I actually want to uh, clean that up just a little bit right there before tying the next piece. Okay. Now I'll V out the feathers again. get a little bit more material right there. These blue wings really they do need all the help they can get as far as floatability and visibility especially in this winter time sunlight. Okay, Looks good right there. I'm gonna tidy up with this covering over these butts. I really get down here and, and press against the hook and get the wing spread out good and flat. Okay. You can always lift up here to check check your progress. Now, we could just go ahead and dub, but what we're going to do is we're going to build a thread dam up in front of the wing. Okay, what that's going to do is that's going to stand the wing up and keep it standing up so that it's not um, just going to fall down willy nilly whenever it, whenever the wind blows or something. Okay, we really want a good good wing to our comparison. Okay, now that you would say that looks a bit long and I would agree with you so you're gonna come in here hold the wing up and we're gonna cut straight across I'm gonna turn the vise just slightly angle the camera here okay we're gonna cut straight across with this wing so that we get it trimmed properly okay and um, kinda coax it around now we've got a good fanned wing okay that's looking really nice. That should that should float for pretty close to a long time. Uh, anyway, here coming back now with the uh, we're going to start a little bit of a dub just to go around the thorax with kind of um, make a little buggy thorax to our dry fly. Just come back in here, make one wrap behind, two wraps, three wraps, and come underneath of the wing. Okay. Right. That's looking very good. Very pleased with that. Um, I'll go ahead and whip finished. You might uh, you might use um, a darker uh, a darker dubbing for the thorax, but I think that looks pretty good right there myself. Okay, so that's a blue wing olive CDC comparison.